Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Deja. I'm back with another video, and today I'm actually gonna be recording this another makeup tutorial. Yo, it's so hard for me not to say seafood boil, but anyways, that's me the hair there. But yes, I'm gonna be recording this look. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Jackie Anna palette. Get into this look. <laughs> I love the way it came out. I was a little iffy, but it's alright. But I like it. You got a little bit of purple, a little bit of red, a little bit of gold and all that. But yes, if you guys aren't subscribed already, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, okay? <laughs> yes. So yes. Oh my gosh, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped because my, it actually looks really nice. Like, But anyways, I just paired it with these red earrings, which is super cute. You guys know my earrings is always popping tin. But, and I have on this bodysuit from Fashion Nova. You guys know I love Fashion Nova. And I'm also about to be recording a haul. So if you guys see this look again, don't come for me. And yes, if you guys wanna see how I got this look, then stay tuned. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, my eyes are already primed. Now I apply my tape, my brows is on. Now let's get this thing started because I'm super excited. So anyways, I'm really only excited because I'm going to be using the Jackie Ina Anastasia Belly. <laughs> I cannot talk today. I'm really excited because I'm using the Jackie Ina Anastasia and Beverly Hills collab. Oh my God, guys, look at this. Look at these colors. I posted on Instagram what color should I use. And a lot of people were saying big wig edges. And someone else said wigglies. No, they actually said sponsor or lituation. But I think the only colors I really want to use today is Supreme, Pinker, Big Wig, Wigglies, and Zam. Guys, look at this. It's so bomb. Ooh. And it comes with the extra brush, as you guys already know. Okay, so I think for the crease, I want to take Supreme, this color right here. We're going to be taking Supreme. I'm sorry it's all up close and personal, but that's the only way you guys would have saw it. And we're going to put that in a crease. Yes, we, that's what we're going to use. Because I don't want to dip into any other neutral browns, like edges, ginger, or credit, because I want to do another look with that. So, yes... How are you guys? Oh, no. We got to blend these creases out before we start applying eyeshadow. But I'm so happy to be recording. It's actually really late. And I had a very productive day. It's so late, though. It's like 6, 7 o'clock. And I'm actually, like, not going anywhere. But it's like I could always be in the mood to play in some makeup. You guys know I'm super honest when it comes to some products. So, oh my God. And guys, look at my freaking face. It's breaking out. I learned my lesson. If I ain't listened before, I definitely listen now. I cannot drink Red Bull. Energy drinks in general. Like I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. When I tell you guys, I was legit looking at this palette in Ulta and Sephora online. I was looking at videos. I'm like, do I really need this palette? I don't think I needed the palette. But I got it anyways. Um, And I, you guys know, like... <laughs> If I keep something for a little while and I realize I'm not picking it up or, like, using it or anything, I will be returning it. So, next, right underneath Supreme, I'm going to put Pinker. Now, this is another color that I was beasting for. Like, besides Wigga Leaves, I was really beasting for Pinker, and I'm so happy to be using it. It's, like, these colors, like, Pinker, Wigga Leaves, and I think Dwellers. It's the only colors I don't, like, have in another palette. Don't quote me on that, though. I don't want this to go too pink, though. Because I did record a pink look already. So, we are going to make this a little bit darker. And I'm just packing it on. Oh, I'm looking 
nosti. Guys, I was looking rough. I don't even know if you could even see it on camera, but it's like a little bump right here. Um, a bump right here. A little bump right here. Oh. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Okay, so guys, next color I want to go into is Big Wig, this vibrant purple color. Oh my gosh, look how bright that looks. Like, I hope it shows up like that on my eyes, because if not, this is going to be tight. But I think I want to, um, yeah, I'm going to use the blender side. And you just want to put that on the outer edge, but also bring it in the crease. You guys can't see on camera how purple it looks, but it looks really purple. We're gonna change that though, cause I don't want a purple look again. I feel like you guys have to see this thing up close and personal. And guys, I'm legit packing it on. Like, I'm not even using a light hand. I know I'm using an Anastasia brush that's fluffy, but I'm packing it on. I'm not using a light hand when I'm on an outer edge. So I'm really, like, packing it onto the outer edge, and I'm bringing it in. But when I start bringing it in, that's when I start using a, a lighter hand. Because you guys really want the purple to show up on the outer parts. And I don't know if it's me or if I'm still, if I keep using the same colors or if it's just that all these palettes got the same colors in it. Like everybody, everybody's palette has purple. Okay, guys. So I think I'm going to put credit on the outer edge just to deepen it up a little bit. Because I don't want it to be too purple. Matter of fact, hold up. Yeah, just on the outer edge. Like if you was gonna wing it out. I'm lying, I don't like that. <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> I bought, I bought, I bought. <laughs> Go back in with freaking big wig. I made a freaking mistake. So next we're gonna cut the crease. I'm gonna be taking a ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Dark 32. And I'm going to just cut it to the freaking outer corner. I'm not going to cut the whole crease because I don't want the whole lid to be one color. So, yes. And you don't want to go too high over the purple. I know a lot of people look up like this, but I don't want it to go too high. Nah. Ooh. I'm high. All right. So. I just got too high. All right. So I'm going to start in the middle because I may use a different color for the inner portion of my eye. But I'm going to go inside with the leaves. With the small brush like this. And I'm going to pack that on the middle part. It's like a bronzy red. I keep sitting back. I'm sorry, guys. Let me scoot up. So next we're going to go into my mood that's right now. Zam, because I thought Wigglies was going to give me so much more life. So we're going to go inside Zam. That was an ugly angle, my fault, y'all. Let me go put that in the inner corner. Because...
so for right now i'm just blending wiggle leaves and big wig together so it won't be any harsh lines like that oh i mean i wasn't feeling it but now it's kind of like coming together oh <laughs> i mean too high nah all right so anyways i'm gonna do the same for the next eye oh and not to mention this package and this packaging is bomb.com but anyways i'm gonna do the same for the next eye and i'll be right back okay guys so this is what the eyes is looking like and i am in love like it's like a cute ombre moment like i'm not like and it's so crazy because these colors is like so different like who would really mix like a i'm gonna say like a zam color <laughs> like a gold with like a red and a purple i never did nothing like this before so anyways we're gonna line our lines with the l'oreal telescopic and i'm also gonna apply my lashes so today's lashes is gonna be the even new york lashes in the style april they're a little short but they're thick oh my god i'm in love and I really just wanted to wear these because the, the packaging was purple. I'm so cheesy like that. So let me apply these and I'll be right back. I freaking love a lash that is fluffy. And a lot of people always ask me what lashes I use and stuff like that. But I love a natural, thick, fluffy lash. Like, I don't really like the 25mm lashes that everybody be wearing now. I don't know why. Maybe it just doesn't look right on me. But these lashes is fluffy. Oh my goodness. They remind me of the freaking um velour lashes I used to wear. Guys, can you believe I used to pay 20 something dollars for lashes? But that's in the hair there. So anyway, so next I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna hand sanitize my hands. My hands is oh my hands is feeling real crazy right now. Like and you always want to sanitize your hands before you move on to your face. But I am in love with this. I have to get a video for the gram. But guys, look at this right here. It's a mark from a breakout. And my stupid self put um toothpaste on it. Like, you know how like people like the back in the day trick, like put toothpaste on it, it's gonna dry up. But yo, this right here is crusty. But anyways, for primer, I'm gonna take my sample. I did get the milk primer. So we're just gonna try this out for the first time. A lot of people was raving about this. And I don't, I just wanna see how it is. I don't think I need a lot right now. Cause I ain't going nowhere. Oh, it's like when I get breakouts, it hurts. I'm so dramatic. Let me stop. But no, these just hurt. Oh, it's sticky. Like really sticky. I don't mind a sticky primer. But anyways, for foundation, for foundation, we're gonna be using the Hourglass Foundation and Golden Almond. So now I'm gonna just take my Real Technique sponge and just blend that in. I love this foundation. It, it really works wonders. I have to get a video. It really just blends into like silk. Are you guys enjoying the music that I'm putting in my videos? Like I know it's a lot of hip hop and like, cause all I really listen to is Dolph, Key Glock, um, some NBA young boy, all that other like, you know? <laughs> That's the only people I really, I listen to Meg Thee Stallion, Cash Doll. And I feel like hip hop music, like besides a little, um, you know how most people, they use the songs that's like so girly and like, I just feel like the hip hop music really gets people like in tune. Like, you know, we getting lit, like this makeup tutorial is going to be fire. So if you are really like doing it with me, like, you know, like you could really jam out. I know it ain't no lyrics, but no copyright on this channel. But, you know, you could still jam out. Have a good time while you get ready with me. But anyways, for highlight, well, for concealer highlight, we're going to take the Tarte Shape Tape in the color tan and we're going to highlight our face. I'm basically running out. My favorite color in this, con in this concealer is actually tan sand, but that's finito. Okay, guys, so now we're just going to blend that in. And this combo right here, oh, my God. When I, you guys are going to see. It's flawless. Okay, guys, so as you guys can see, I did blend that in. So for setting powder, we're going to take the air spot in the color translucent. 
And we're just gonna set our under eyes and our lash lines. You guys know I don't really set the rest of my face. And yes, this is fire. It's like once the foundation, concealer, and everything comes on, the look starts coming together. I woke up flawless. This setting powder is so fire because it's so affordable. But you really got to know what you're doing with this because you can really go outside looking like a ghost. And that's never a vibe. Nah, but this eye. <laughs> Who is she? In the mirror, look. Okay, guys, so I did let that sit for like a good two minutes, but I do want to dust it away now. I don't want to, I don't really bake like that, but I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild Color Bronzer and Wet Shady Beachy, Wet Shady Beaches. <laughs> I almost said the curse, but yeah, this is what it looks like. It is a bronzer, but um, it's not dark enough for me, so I'm going to be using that just to dust away my freaking foundation. Yeah, like I, th I definitely would rather use this as a setting powder than a freaking bronzer because, you know, it's not dark enough. Which is whack because I know the quality is fire because they, like, you know, that whole, like, range is fire from Wet n Wild. So next, I'm going to take my Koki, um Contour Palette and I'm going to be taking this bronze, bronzy shade just to bronze up my face. Dang that freaking, <laughs> I'm looking real harsh on the nose. Let me blend this in. It's like, since my nose is like small, it's like when I do contour my nose, it always looks a little bit too harsh, but that's why I always go in with my powder brush afterwards, but that's neither here nor there. So for contour, I'm gonna be taking this shade right here and I'm gonna just put it right here. Do I really have to keep telling you guys the same old, same old, or do you guys understand now? Today, I'm not going to be contouring my forehead. I didn't want to, like, you know, do it too much. I mean, I didn't want to do too much. I know y'all like, girl, you got on a full face. But I don't think I really need it today. So, for blush, I'm going to be taking this non blush in the color Fervor. And we're going to be putting that on our cheeks. We're going to actually be taking this shade right here. Now, this color is actually really different. But it's like a sheeny, like rose gold it kind of looks like a purple and the palette i'm look at me i'm trying to really show y'all what it's giving but it's nice it's actually like a mix of the um purple on my lid and the red it looks like i literally mixed those two shades together and put it on my cheek Oh my gosh, guys, how pretty is this blush? And mind you guys, I don't have no freaking highlight on yet. And it's like, it's giving me like a sheen. But anyways, we're going to move on to highlight. If I highlight, you guys know I always take a ColourPop highlight first. Oh my God, I get the highlight on my nose already. <laughs> Look at that laugh. If I would have did that laugh to Lily, she would have been weak. But anyways, I'm going to take Avalon and I'm going to put that on the high points of the cheek. This thing is flawless. Wow. It's all broken up. That's why I don't really want to show you guys, but y'all get the gist. Ugh. I hate highlighting when I have texture. Terrible. This is pretty. My face is glowing, but it's actually matte, but it's actually glowing, but it's actually matte. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, whenever I do my makeup and it looks really good, I'll be so freaking high. But anyways, for my second highlight, I'm going to be taking the um, Laura Geller and Gilded Honey. And we're just going to put that right on top. Remember when Baby J was, um, <laughs> I want to say, guess what? She was like this. Yo. Oh, I definitely could get the brow bone today. Ugh. I'm sorry, y'all. This is really how I be acting when I be doing my makeup. Like, <laughs> you got to get them angles. So for my last highlight, I'm going to go on top of everything with Global Glow just to like blend it in better. You guys know I always say either Global Glow or freaking Gold Deposit to bring it like to tone it down. Because these highlights aren't really like bold, thick highlighters. They're like a shimmer. Now the final step, we're just going to blend everything together because you guys know. Now for lips, I'm going to line my lip with the brown lip liner and the color Coca. Now for lips, I want to take the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion. It's a soft matte lip cream and I'm going to take the color Melanit like this. Just like this. Um, I used this before in the summertime. It's super bright, like, so I'm really just going to dab it. Oh, hold up. And we're just going to go over that with Max Japanese Maple. Just to tone it down. I like that. I like that. I like that. Oh, look at my face. But anyways, I'm going to be setting my face with the freaking Essence You Better Work Gym Proof Setting Spray. I'm going to shake this up because I haven't even used this one in so long. Should I do something on the bottom lash line or not? Nah? Nah. You guys know, I need me a little fan. I was going to get the Patrick Ta fan, but then I was like, girl, you are broke. Like, what do I look like really buying one of those fans? Okay, guys, so you guys know I like to change my outfit and go, you know, put on some cuter earrings. So let me do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. Oh my gosh. Like at first when I was recording this, I really didn't know where I was going with it, but I actually I absolutely love the way this came out. And I only paired it with this bodysuit that I got from Fashion Nova. You guys know I love Fashion Nova. So yeah, it's just a regular bodysuit. You know everybody has this bodysuit. And I have on these bomb red earrings. I was saving these red earrings for a red lip look, but I feel like it goes. Like it's a look, sis, right? But yes, I'm getting ready to actually film a Fashion Nova haul. So if you guys see this makeup again, don't come for me. But yes, do I look good? Look at the skin. Like, it's giving glow, but I'm actually very mad. Cue the slow-mo. Hey, this is a guys like the way this look came out subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you guys be notified as my do post i do post daily uploads at 4 p.m eastern time and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and have a nice day